What's up, what's up mga kasubuan? Ito na naman ang inyong kasubuan na si Paring Vin from Moro Cars PH para sa isa na namang car review episode. I'm here at Sherry North Edsa and with me today I have Sir Homer Tan and he is one of the sales executive here at Sherry North Edsa. And he's gonna be my buddy for today's review of 2020 Tigo 8 EX Automatic. Before we move forward, I want to say thank you to our Kasabuan dealership, Ang Sherry North Edsa, for letting us review and feature their vehicle. Sir Homer, go ahead and invite our viewers out there and our car buyers to come over here. Hello mga Kasabuan, this is Homer Tan. Please visit our showroom here at Sherry North Edsa. You can contact me 0905-904-6304. Our Facebook account is Cherry Auto North Edsa. This is the all-new 7-seater crossover Tigo 8 Luxury EX. As you can see, it has a lustrous, aggressive, modern design that makes you say wow at the first sight. On the front end, it has a full LED headlight with daytime running light. Down the bottom, you have LED fog light with piano black honeycomb garnish. It has a front parking sensor. And down the bottom of the front bumper, it has a silver skid plate. And a huge bold chrome straight line in front of the signature piano black matrix grille. On the side section of the body, you have the power folding side mirror with integrated turning signal light, equipped with heater and camera for its 360 degree view. It has a huge 18 inch coated mag wheels, and the front and back wheels are both disc brake. It has a black fender, black side skirt and a bold straight chrome line that gives contrast on the body color. As you can see, the door handle has a small groove for its smart keyless entry. Around the frame of the side of the window, it has a blazing chrome trim all the way on the back of the C-pillar that gives this vehicle a premium look. Moving on the top, it has a panoramic sunroof, silver roof rails, and a shark fin antenna. Moving on the back end, starting from the top, it has a roof spoiler with mounted backlight. It also has a continuous full LED taillight with a distinctive light strip design for more aggressive look. And down the bottom of the rear bumper, it has a fog light, rear parking sensor, and a reverse camera. The spare tire is located underneath of the vehicle, and it has a rear double wishbone coil spring suspension system. The power tailgate is equipped with two-step sequence to unlock automatically. You have a modern design cabin with premium finish. And the seats are made of synthetic leather. Okay, so on 
this driver side, makikita niyo yung side ng window, may stitches siya. And may monochrome lining. At kung mapapansin niyo dito, brush lock na plastic. The door lock is also made of monochrome. And this is the switch lock. This side naman, inside door handle, ang ganda rin ang pagcasting chairs. And the power window switch, and yung pag-adjust ng power side door. And on down below, meron siyang storage. Kaya ng tubig kung ano man. And the driver's speaker. So, sa height kung 5.11, nakita niyo naman ng legro. Uh, maluwag siya. And the headroom, the lock then, and the steering wheel is tilt and telescopic. And just move. Power seat na rin siya. O andito yung adjustment. Pwede mo siyang imove forward, move backward, and pwede mo. Line and balik and then pwede mo rin siya i-move pa taas and i-move down on this uh, passenger seat manual seat siya so ang um, power seat lang is yung sa driver's side so manual seat siya ang recline to move forward and back dito manual seat Now, on this section, kung mapapansin nyo, ito yung aircon vent. And, meron siya macro trimming. On this side, this is the button for open the TV. And, this is the leveling adjustment ng beam ng headlight. So, mga kasabwat, dito naman tayo sa steering wheel. So, it's made of plain or uh, synthetic leather. And may mga stitches and may airbag mayroong chrome accent dito sa baba and it has a uh, steering wheel switches uh, for ito for uh, instru instrument cluster and for multimedia and of course the standard lever for headlight and for wiper On this section naman sa dashboard, soft touch, I think it's made of plastic dito sa baba. And on this section, synthetic leather. On this side, it's a soft touch plastic. And dito sa may instrument cluster niya, meron siyang um, matte chrome accent. Which really nice kasi naging ano siya, premium look. And mga kasabot, isang napansin ko dito sa cabin, uh, prominent yung mga pagka-stitches niya. Like here. Ayan. Ito medyo prominent and soft touch. Kahit dito sa may armrest, basta maganda yung mga pagka-stitches niya. Even here, sa front dashboard. And on this section then meron, meron din siyang passenger airbag. On this side naman, uh, meron siyang uh, sabu, uh, sabu or speaker. So on this side naman, meron siyang 10.25 HD touchscreen infotainment. Down the bottom, yung center air vent. Push start button na rin siya. On this section, meron siyang control ng infotainment. So, ito yung on and off. Volume ng infotainment. Hazard button. Home. Ito yung sync and sa pag-call. And the settings. Again, on and off for the infotainment. Volume down, volume up, 
and then hazard control home para pumunta sa home screen and sync and kung gusto mong tumawag and the settings so mga kasabwat uh, down here explain ko naman sa inyo yung dual zone climate control ng air condition so basically merong dalawang uh, knob switch dito so this is the switch for the climate sa uh, driver driver side and this one naman is for the passenger side so say yung uh, nakaupo na katabi nyo ayaw nya yung malamig meron siyang sariling control dito and kung i-change mo ayan at i-change sya and same thing on on the driver side ayan meron din siyang sariling climate control now say gusto mo isa lang yung ano yung yung settings yung thermostat dito gagana yung sink so ayan kapag nag set si driver same din same din din yung settings okay this section then is um, touch screen na siya so this is the settings for fun and eto din yung mga control ng how to kung paano yung buga ng, ng hangin circulation yan. so eto naman ang shift knob so may park, reverse, neutral drive and then meron din siyang manual may plus and minus and this one uh, ito yung automatic parking brake or automatic park brake and this is the auto hold so down here on the uh, center console uh, this is for the mode for drive mode sport and this one naman is AVM uh, ito yung automatic video monitor so basically sa iba ito yung tinatawag na 360 view camera kaya makita nyo nakaswitch sya so this settings uh, front pwede sa left right back and ito yung 360 view so say mag right turn ka kikita mo yung sa full view ng sa right mo and then left kikita mo rin yung full view sa right mo so this is very useful dun sa mga alam nyo na yung mga kabago kapag nag turn uh, left to right so makikita nyo yung uh, yung nasa side view it has two cup holder At saka itong armrest, pwede siyang i-move forward. Move back dun sa original position niya. And meron siyang uh, lock. And ipupush nyo lang. Ayan. So, maluwag yung storage na dito. So, meron siyang 12 volts socket. And ang 2 USB port so pwede siya for charging and for data so check this out mga kasabwat nakikita nyo itong 2 cup holders dito pwede siyang i-move back and there's another storage here uh, this one actually kung gusto mo yung drinks mo to keep it cold pwede mo siyang ilagay dito meron siyang pinaka fan dito so lumalabas yung kung ano yung lamig ng aircon lalabas siya dito so, ilalagay mo dito yung drinks mo, for example, close mo siya. And this is one, pwede mo din siyang i-close. Ayan, so, bubuga siya ng malamig na hangin. Isa pang natuklasan ko mga kasabwat, uh, ito yung key fob niya. Say na low bat yung key fob niyo. So, for, of course, hindi siya, hindi siya andar. Hindi siya mag-switch on. So, etong key fob, dito mo siya ipi-place dito mo siya ipi-place. Nakita nyo may sign siya. Ayan. So ipi-place nyo dito yung key fob nyo. The reason kailangan i-place dyan yung key fob 
para yung signal niya naka-direct dito sa may kung saan man yung sensor niya para umandar. So on this side naman mga kasabwat, uh, meron siyang blue box. At kung mapapansin nyo, parang hydraulic siya. Ayan. So maluwag din siya. Up here naman, so meron siyang set visor. And meron siyang vanity mirror. Pero napansin ko wala siyang light. And meron siya dito uh, clip. So pwede kang mag-clip ng mga papeles. And on this side naman, of course, uh, sunglass holder, rear view mirror, and this is for buttons for opening yung sunroof or panoramic roof. Ito yung mga switches niya, and this is the switch for up light. Yeah. And both sides may speaker siya, so feeling ko ito yung tweeter speaker so mga kasabot isa pang mapapasin nyo dito sa cabin uh, may ambient light sya and the instrument cluster is digitized na very cool nice cabin we check natin dito sa second row so dito naman sa second row seat maluwag din and headroom maluwag meron syang dome light side, under and pretty much the same din dito sa side na likod ng driver seat at saka sa passenger seat on this section meron siyang aircon vent dito sa second row and may isang USB port and maliit na storage so pwedeng lagaya ng cellphone of course meron siyang speaker on both sides and in the middle of the seats meron siyang Ayan, armrest. And, two cup holder. So, mga kasabot, mag-space test naman tayo sa third row seat. And also, I'm gonna show you how to uh, adjust yung seat para makapasok pa sa third row. So, meron siyang uh, adjustment dito. You just need to pull it up. And then, move it forward. Okay? And then, pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. Pull it up. So, kung mapapansin nyo, ganito ang itsura niya. So, sa height kung 5'11, so... <laughs> okay. So, sa height kung 5'11, hindi na ako pupunta dito sa, sa sulok kasi feeling ko hindi talaga ako kakasya. So, pang bata lang dito sa likod or sa mga maliit siguro mga 5-6-5-5 pwede na kasi ito na yung tuhod ko though nagsuffer ang, ang legroom sa headroom naman may konting konti siguro 1 inch or half inch may napansin din pala ako merong dome light dito pero kung ito sana ginawang plug na lang siya even na flat, flat, parang dito it will give another headroom sana pero hindi ko alam kung bakit hindi ko yung design so pag hindi pwedeng magtatlo so dalawahan lang talaga dito and papakita ko sa inyo kung paano yung pagbaba ng 511 ok this is how 511 would go out on <laughs> this uh, seven seater. So on the back end, naman it has a uh, automatic lift gate. So we papakita ko sa inyo yung technique how to open the power lift gate. So there is a sequence as long as you have the key fob with you. So go open it. So papakita ko sa inyo yung funny sequence. So first, uh, na lalapit kami ko sa tail gate, and then afterwards, magbubuo back na. So. Inside the park road, ito, so maluwag siya, so naka-move down itong seat sa, sa back, and then on this section, you have the storage for tools, and there's another available storage here, on the right side. 
And on this side, you have this 12 volt socket for charging. And both on the sides has its own cup holders. And there's another two speaker here at the back of the seats on third row. So for the third row seats. And I'm gonna show you kapag naka pull down na yung second row seats kung gaano kaluwag yung magiging compartment niya. And this is the switch to move it down. Ayan, so yan ang magiging cargo space niya sa likod. So maluwag siya. Now, let's take a look under the hood. This vehicle is powered by 1.5 liters turbocharged intercooler dual variable valve timing gasoline engine. It produces 145 horsepower at 5500 RPM. It has a 210 newton meters of torque at 1750 up to 4400 RPM mated with 6-speed dual clutch automatic transmission. Kasabot, sana nagustuhan nyo yung uh, review ng Tigo 8 Luxury EX and uh, for the last part of this video gusto ko lang din kumunek sa inyo ano masasabi nyo sa Tigo 8 Luxury EX comment down below lang para sa mga uh, assessment nyo or kung anong masasabi nyo first impression ko uh, honestly nung pagdating namin dun sa dealership napawaw talaga ako dun sa design niya. Nakikita ko na siya sa mga pictures, sa ibang videos. Nung nakita ko siya personal, napawaw talaga ako. Ang ganda ng design niya, yung materials na ginamit, okay din. Lumelevel na siya sa, sa mga European car. Dun sa interior niya, especially dun sa cabin, nakapag-touch talaga ng attention ko yung very detailed ng mga stitches, yung materials na ginamit. Uh, sa stitches lang, normally nakikita ko yung ganong mga design sa mga premium car as in yung mga mahal na premium car. Uh, but for this Cherry Tigo 8, though they call it premium, but the tag price is so much lower, it's far lower than the other premium cars and kung paano dinesign yung cabin niya sobrang detailed yung instrument cluster niya or fully digital may two climate control normally yung mga features na yan nasa around like almost 2 million but for for this Tigo 8 everything is everything is Technology wise, okay na okay. Technology na ginamit, hindi siya pa uhule. For the price of 1.3M, very budget siya para sa akin. Sa mga, well, alam ko, merong malaking question mark sa, sa ulo nyo ngayon about sa reliability, sa durability, and all. Well, alam nyo, masasabi ko mga kasabwat time really can tell kung kung ano yung ano uh, when it comes sa uh, uh, reliability durability and beside kung yan yung question nyo sa ulo nyo the cherry is offering 10 years warranty sa makina so sangka pa and um, 
3 years uh, free PMS so saan ka pa 10 years so they are really they are really assuring you na yung engine is talagang matibay saka nakita 10 years so using this car for 10 years sobrang sulit na okay meron nga dyan ibang car na branded diba wala pang 10 years lumalabas na lumalabas na yung mga sira diba sa second part ng review ng Tigo 8 uh, gagawin natin yung test drive experience uh, unfortunately hindi tayo nakapag test drive kasi walang available na uh, test drive vehicle but nakakuha na tayo ng schedule so that's gonna be on my second vlog yung test drive so i-discuss ko dun yung mga safety uh, features um uh, gas consumption kung maaari and all sa so, mga bago lang sa channel na to uh, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell para updated kayo sa mga susunod kong videos peace out maraming salamat sa inyong panonood mga kasabwat at kung bago ka lang sa channel na to please hit the subscribe button at hit ang notification bell para updated ka sa mga susunod kong videos.